crews. They are out there treating. They are plowing as one snow system ends and another one is on its way. We are joined by Matt Brunning from ODOT this morning. Matt, how are you guys hanging in there so far? You know, it's been a long night. Our crews have been out since yesterday evening and they're still at it. So uh, 12 to 16 hour shifts and we're still going. So, uh, you know, we have a long road ahead of us still yet to go, but they're getting the job done. Yeah, they're getting after it. And I know it's very difficult when the snow is falling at the rate it was falling to keep up. Tara Blake's been talking about it this morning. John Gum was talking about it last night. I think it was coming down something like three inches per hour. Just talk about how difficult that is. You guys are out there and as soon as you get it up, there's a fresh coat back down again. Absolutely, that's just it. I mean, you know, I, I kind of equate it to like, you know, trying to shovel your driveway during the heaviest snow where you started is probably going to be snow covered by the time you get back to it. So uh, the same holds true for our folks. You know, they're out there treating the state and U.S. routes outside of municipalities and all the interstates. They've got one to two hour long routes that they're running. Add in some time to go back and get salt and fuel. And, you know, where you started could very well and likely will be covered especially if you're getting snowfall rates at, at one to three inches an hour, that's just, you can't keep up with that, you know, at all. Yeah, and that's not something we see a whole lot around here. We're talking about the kind of so snowfall we haven't seen in about a decade or so. I was one of those people who was who was stuck on Fort Washington Way. I was down there for about two and a half hours. And when you get a situation like that, what makes it worse is you, you can't get trucks through to get to the area that's beyond the accident scene or beyond, you know, where something's jackknifed. Talk about just how difficult that is when you've got a line of cars that you have to figure out how to get around. So when those cars are able to move, they actually can. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the biggest challenges when you have a lot of this traffic. Uh, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, is nice for us that when, the, when these storms hit overnight is usually there's less traffic on the roadway. And certainly that helps us a, a tremendous amount to get those roads closed or cleared. But when the road is closed and traffic's backed up, our plows can't move snow because they're not moving either. So it certainly does present a challenge. Um, and that's really been the, the, the biggest issue we've had, uh, you know, that early morning incident that they kind of closed the Brent Spence Bridge and back traffic up into Ohio uh, certainly mm -hmm. was a challenge to deal with. Matt, before I let you go, just very quickly, I know last time we had that snow, you know, about a week or 10 days ago, whatever it was, that city crews had a lot of difficulty because they had a lot of people out with uh, coronavirus issues, people in quarantine, that kind of thing. Are the ODOT crews facing anything similar in terms of the workforce you're able to put out there right now? No, we haven't had any shortages of folks uh, due to COVID. I mean, we've been doing the, the precautions that we've been telling all Ohioans to do since the, the spring. You know, our folks have been wearing masks. They've been washing their hands, uh, keeping socially distanced. And the good thing is, you know, uh, sitting in a snowplow truck uh, for 12 to 16 hours is a very socially distanced job. So, <laughs> you know, certainly our folks are, are, are following all the precautions and, and protocols to stay as healthy as they can because they know what's at stake. Yeah, uh, not just for their families at home, but obviously for everybody who's out on the roads. We want to make sure that our roads are as safe and clear as we can. All right, absolutely. Well, Matt, we appreciate your time this morning. We may try to check in again later. Please let all the drivers know how, how appreciative we are of their work as well and tell them to be careful out there. I certainly will. Thank you so much for that appreciation. Thank you, Sheila.